Moving out is a shitload of work. I should have known that. <sighs> it is August 29th, 2019. I have to move out of this flat. And I did this before. I mean, I've been moving out twice here already, but it was always just going away for one year and then intending to come back. This time, I'm leaving for good. Which means I cannot put the stuff into one of the cupboards and say, okay, this is my cupboard, it just stays there. No, I have to get all my shit out of this flat. It's not that bad, I leave all the inventory in here, the tables, the bed, the desks, the kitchen equipment, everything stays here because my brother will take over the flat and so I can leave all that stuff there. But still, I acquired a lot of shit that is mine that I need to get away. And you know, I scheduled a week for moving out. So I wanted to come here on Monday, but then I was invited to a D&D night and I just didn't say no. All you can see so far. <laughs> we have our own Matt um, Mercer. <laughs> yesterday I was also busy with other stuff, like getting a haircut. Favorite place to vlog, favorite hairdresser in Graz. They get to do my haircut for one last time because then I'll have to find someone in Munich. Once again I realized that I'm missing another centimeter here or here. It goes pretty far back now. Ah! Hair, cover it, cover it, cover it! So I didn't do much packing either. It's just ridiculous how much shit I have. I mean, I'm a collector and I collect things like books and discs. I have a shit load of discs. And packing stuff of course isn't the only thing I need to do. I then also need to clean my flat. And that's also not the only things that I need to do because then there come those other things that I need to do before the packing. For instance, yesterday I uh, scanned uh, my whole folder of documents because I was like, well, I'm gonna leave the scanner here. So I better do that now. And I spent the entire evening doing that. I mean, it was interesting, yes, I learned stuff. Mother child pass. What did I learn about myself? I got a pretty high score, even as a zero year old. The fruit water was blue, you don't really want to know that. Once I got a two, so not the best mark, a B in Sachunterricht, which I completely forgot that that was the case. I think that was like geography, because there's no other geography, yeah. I think Sachunterricht had parts of geography and that was what I was failing in. It's funny watching my grades getting worse and worse. I mean, I got a 2 in freaking music. Physics? Really? Yeah, seems like those were the times where I started to not give a fuck. Well... At the end of HDL, my grades are getting better again. Look at that. I did so many interesting things. Got second place of a kangaroo contest, did uh, business some things, uh, networking some things, language fifth place, uh, more business. And I thought I was already done, but then I realized, oh wait, there's a fifth form of HDL and look at my grades. <laughs> oh, I'm proud of myself. Good job, Andy, good job. And while I was in the process of shirtlessly scanning all my certificates, I realized that there's another thing that I need to scan that I haven't even looked at. This thing. There's still something in there. Pop pity, pop pity, pop pity, pop pity. Diddy dop diddy. Diplom. Diplom Ingenieur. Wow. So now we find ourselves in the situation where we have three days remaining until we have to hand over the key. And I don't hand it over to my brother directly. I have a friend who takes over the flat for a few months just so somebody is in here because my brother will only take over in February. The 1st of September is unnegotiable because I already told somebody that they can have the flat. And also on the 2nd of September, I need to be in Munich to get my key for my flat in Munich. Well, my room. 
ready. On Saturday, the a cappella people were singing at the wedding, and so that day is also pretty much gone. So I have two more days for packing. And then stupid me also agreed to go to another D&D session tonight. Do you want to marry me now? No! Damn it. However, with a camera everything works better. I also used this approach when... Uh... Give me a second. Haben wir zufälligerweise, nachdem wir genügend verkauft haben, leere Scheibenboxen, die wir nachher brauchen? Kann ich mal die irgendwann holen können? Passt. I organized myself a box for my discs. Discs are not properly packed in this sort of thing because I can't close that. So, I want to have some different disc container. But that means more time than I need to spend going there and coming back. So, we better start Cleaning the fuck up and putting shit in boxes. So right now I'm in the situation where I don't even want to start because I know it's not gonna work. It, I just don't have enough time so I don't do anything and I just stress out that I don't have enough time. Which is super counterproductive. So that's where you come in. Because with a camera pointing at my face, I, I feel the urge to actually do something. Because if I'm just sitting around, then that's not good footage, right? Good. I already approved of this concept when I was sorting out my cupboard in Klagenfurt to make some space for all the clothing that I have here in Graz. And there the camera motivated me. So, today, we're gonna do the same thing, just with my entire flat. Look how it looks now. This is what it looks now. And uh, yeah, I already prepared for cleaning up lore. Stuff is just lying around. This is just this is just standard uh, my flat. This is even worse than normal. Uh, I just uh, removed the covers to you know uh, wash them, and this is this is what it looks like now. Also, I have an entire cupboard full of suits and stuff. Yeah, so this is never gonna fit in the car. We have a box of paper waste, we have a trash bin for general waste, and we have a box of stuff that we need to keep. Guess which one's gonna be the fullest. Let's go! Like this was my only uh, booklet that I had in Cranfield. I just... Or was it Bristol? But really, am I ever gonna to look at that again? Some somewhat important formula? I don't know. I'm, Paper waste, just throw it away. See, if I show it to the camera and then throw it away, it's easier for me to actually throw it away than if I would have to just throw it away. This is a weird psychological thing, but it is a thing. Oh wow, the whole, oh no. Come on. Stuff that I collected in, in uh, Edinburgh at the Fringe. All of those booklets and and memories, just just memories of all the shows that I went to. Those are all memories, but I'm not gonna... I d j d paper waste, I just need to throw it... You know, here's another trick of what you can do. If you're having a really hard time deciding whether or not you should keep something, like all of that stuff, just... Just do that, because now... Now I really don't want to keep it. Paper waste, much easier. What else have we got? My interrail pass. I mean, also really nice memories, but do I want to keep that? I don't think so. Am I ever gonna look at that again? No. Paper waste. You need to stay strong and throw away shit because otherwise you will just not manage to take everything with you. A good shine for uh, I'm not in Graz, fuck it. Don't think too long whether or not you should throw it away because otherwise you will not throw it away. So just don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it. Just don't fucking think about whatever you're throwing away here. Or something like that. A ticket to the Bon Jovi concert. Great concert! <laughs> Oh, 
But I don't need that to remind myself of it. I have lots of footage. <laughs> Now I don't want to keep it. Easy as that. Oh, too much dust. Oh, my old wallet. My old fucking wallet. Oh, yes. I was like, oh, I can definitely use that again at some point. Ooh, there's even still money in there. I should not just throw that away. Now I can throw it away. Because let's be honest, who's gonna use that ever again? Wait, wait. Same applies. Ah. Now it's definitely not usable anymore. Ah, reply. I already told them that it won't work for them, so basically all of that is paper waste. Twice the employees agreement. I'm gonna take those, yeah. Looting, looting the contract. I wanted the contract digitally to have a look at it and then they were like, yeah, we send it to you, propose as well, just so you can sign it. Because they really want me to sign it, but then I didn't, so this is all just a waste. A waste of resources. The poor trees that had to die for this. Don't want to keep that though. I don't think so. Alright, that was all the paper from my table. It does look somewhat cleaner, well, at least uh, less messy now. Or does it? We're still not done. However, we've sorted out quite a bit of paper. So I'm making progress, slowly working my way up. Now it's just dirty. Yeah, I mean, no, my table wasn't dirty at all. After another round of scanning shit and then trashing it. We're gonna do something else now. We're gonna get a box. Nice. Space for 100 discs. Right, now we bring that home and then we go play D&D because ah, we still have enough time to move out, right? How am I gonna get that home? Well, good that I have a car. There you go, there's the box. And also a mattress because we bring Gary his mattress. And you, go make a backup. You don't just steal from the church of Trabeck. Definitely not.